Roger, I copy 477 Niner Niner 3, over. It's training day 43 at Marine Corps Scout Sniper School, Camp Pendleton, California. And for Corporals Lawrence O'Connor and Joshua Hamblin, daybreak has brought a welcome end to a rain-soaked sleepless night. Since 6 p.m. last evening, this two-man student sniper observer team has maintained constant surveillance on a target area 300 yards below its hillside position. Its orders are to kill a known terrorist expected to appear at the target site early this morning. Corporal Hamblin, the sniper in this scenario, will deliver the deadly round. His observer, O'Connor, will aid in acquiring the target. This mission is part of a series of final training exercises, and the school's chief instructor looks on to ensure his students have made the necessary preparations to take the shot. A lot of times, they'll, they'll forget about the egress route, which is one of the most important things on a mission like this, is you want to make sure you can get away after you take your shot without exposing yourself too long to the target site. Part of the exercise for O'Connor and Hamblin is to coordinate their shot with another student team elsewhere on the hillside. Roger, appears to be two, over. Roger, uh, be advised engaging in five, four, three, two. Yeah, we're down. Let's go, Connor. You wouldn't want to expose yourself to a freaking objective like that. Let's go, get out of here. One shot, one kill success. But while these wet and exhausted students have accomplished their mission, they have not earned a rest for themselves. Their instructors will keep them in the field, conducting one operation after another for the next 72 hours. You're looking at when you put them under some stress, under some pressure, maybe some sleep deprivation, food deprivation, that they can handle that without, you know, losing their temper or losing their cool or slack off under performance level. Upon graduation, these students will become the eyes, ears, and trigger finger of their unit commander. Their lives and the lives of their fellow Marines will depend on how well they learn the skills taught here at Scout Sniper School and upon their level of physical and mental toughness. You're not out there with a squad or with a platoon with somebody else in charge of you telling you what to do. You get your mission statement, you get your intent from your supporting commander, and you go out there and accomplish your mission with your own wits and your own know-how.